Streaming from your Xbox is a great way to get started streaming to your community, but sometimes you may run into issues with chat, streams ending, and more. In this video, we are going to discuss how to work around these issues and how to incorporate the fixes to use when streaming to Lightstream. Let's get into it. Some users experience their stream ending before they even get playing. The most common cause of this is actually not waiting until you're fully live on the dashboard before closing the dashboard and going back into your game. So do wait until you are fully live on the dashboard and you see that you are live before closing it and starting your game. Another thing that can end your stream is switching games in the middle of your broadcast. This actually stops sending a video feed to Lightstream, which may end your broadcast. We recommend starting a new stream if you want to switch games. Some users who directly connect their camera to their Xbox and headset mic to their controller will experience a delay between their camera and microphone audio. This may happen over the course of the stream. Thankfully, this is usually a hardware glitch that can be fixed by simply disconnecting and reconnecting the headset to the controller. This should usually reset the sync. If you're connecting your webcam in Lightstream Studio and using the mic connected to your controller or vice versa, you will most likely experience inherent sync issues. So we highly recommend connecting your webcam and mic to the same device to ensure sync. Jitters and lag in your game's video feed may be caused by many different things, but you should check to make sure it's not your Lightstream Studio's project's frame rate setting. In Lightstream Studio, make sure that you've set your frame rate of your project to 30 frames per second, as that is the max that your Xbox can actually send to Twitch and to Lightstream. Another issue is having your party chat or even your Discord chat not included in your audio when it's being sent to Lightstream or to Twitch. Discord chat actually will not pass through your video feed to Lightstream natively and also to Twitch, so there are some workarounds to make sure that this works, and I'm going going to link a video down in the description and a card up in the corner so that you can see a workaround to be able to get Discord chat onto your stream. If you're using Xbox native party chat, make sure that they're actually including audio and using that option inside of the party chat. Some people have experienced account issues and this is a simple fix just by going under the Xbox settings and logging out and reconnecting not only your Twitch but any of the other apps that you might be using when streaming. Some users have mentioned that they have had their stream end around the three hour mark into their broadcast. Before going live, make sure that your game is completely closed, start your stream, make sure that you're fully live before closing your dashboard, and then launch the game that you choose to stream. I hope this information will be helpful in setting up your Xbox stream with Lightstream so that you can get back to creating engaging content with your viewers. For more troubleshooting articles, check out our knowledge base at help.golightstream.com. We'll see you over there.